What's going on guys? It's Jeramon. Hope you're having a good day. I know I am because I just got this package in the mail and in this box is a brand new pair of sneakers and it's a shoe that I have not seen in person yet. So I'm really excited to unbox it and see what this sneaker is all about. But before we do that, I got to give a message from our sponsor. Who was the one that declared every basketball needs to be either orange or brown? I want to meet that person because if I did, I would show them this, the Seasons Creator Premium Game Basketball, which as you could tell, it's not your everyday looking ball, but I tell you what, I've been balling with mine pretty much every day and it's been working out for me absolutely great. This is my go-to ball at the moment. So unless you want to be like everyone else and have your basketball look exactly the same, go ahead and check out Seasons Creator with the link in the description box below. All right, so let's unbox this. Now, something that I found interesting, the box says, do not open with a sharp instrument. What? What am I supposed to open this with, my teeth? Don't open with a sharp instrument, whatever. All right, here we go. This is an Adidas box. Can you guess what it is? I'll give you a hint. Got three letters, I'll give you three hints. Three letters, M-V-P. Got that hint? All right, let's see what's in there. Ooh, okay, here we go. Here's the first sneaker. This is the Adidas Harden BEX. Now this is a James Harden sneaker. However, it's not his signature sneaker. It's more of a budget wallet friendly version of his signature sneaker. Usually it's an overseas exclusive, but since the guy won MVP, Adidas has given us all the James Harden merch that we can think of, and this is one of them. So I'm really excited to play in these because I love the Harden Volume 2. It's one of the most solid performers that I played in last season. So I'm really excited to see what a more streamlined, slimmed down, uh, simpler version of that sneaker feels like on the court. And as you can see, there is no boost. But right off the bat, this shoe is way lighter than the Harden Volume 2. And that was something a lot of people complained about with that sneaker. It was a little too bottom heavy. Right off the bat, I can already tell that the Harden BEX is not heavy whatsoever. Now, like I said, James Harden just won MVP. And I don't know about you guys, but I think it was well-deserved. MVP to me just means who had the best season that year. And hands down to me, it was James Harden. So I think he was easily the MVP. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But again, this is the MVP colorway. Overall, nothing too crazy, but there are a couple things here that do make it unique, such as this aglet on the laces in metallic gold. It says MVP, and then you move up to the tongue. You have MVP in metallic gold there as well. Move down to the bottom, this shank right here, this torsional shank or torsional, however you guys wanna say it, potato, potato. This is also in metallic gold, and I love metallic gold when it comes to sneakers. It just makes me feel like, Luxurious. It makes me feel nice. Kind of like gold member. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And the Adidas three stripes here are also in metallic gold as well. Now, as far as the materials so far, I'm actually really liking what I'm seeing from this. Uh, it kind of reminds me of what was used on the Dame twos, but on these, however, the upper feels just a little bit thicker, which is good from a durability point of view, but from a ventilation point of view, these might end up being a hot box. But that's okay. If they're comfortable, I'm willing to sweat a little bit for that comfort. But overall, the materials are really nice on these, especially considering the price that these are going for. These only cost $110. And to me, the materials are way better than that price tag. So big upset Adidas for that. Now moving along to the traction. Wow, it's totally different from the Harden Volume 2. Where are my Hardens? I need to get my Hardens. Where are they? They're not there. Maybe they're over here. Oh yeah, there they are. All right, I got the Hardens. Let's take a look at the traction differences. On the Harden 2s, it's kind of like a web-like pattern. I'm not really sure what to call this, but on the BEs, it's more of a traditional bladed type pattern in multiple directions. And that to me is a huge upgrade over the Harden 2s. Some people were complaining about the traction on the Harden 2s. I had no issues whatsoever. Maybe that was this white rubber compound. Maybe it's different on this. I have no idea. All I know is from a visual point of view, if I had to choose which one of these tractions work better, I'm picking the BEs over the twos, which is crazy because 
this is the sneaker James plays in and this is the sneaker that he plays in when he's in China? I don't know. Now another interesting thing that I really wanted to know about this sneaker was the fit because with the Harden 2s, I had to go down half a size and they were still just a tad bit too long but the midfoot fit was excellent. However, I always seem to go down half a size in Adidas so I'm interested to see if that's still the case here. I'm gonna try them on now for the very first time to see if that still is the case. So give me a sec, hold on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, go half ties down for sure. If you go half size down in Adidas, stick with that with the Harden BEXs for sure. Wow, the fit on these. Wow guys, I'm really liking this. I'm really liking the fit. Whoa, I'm pumped for ball tonight. I'm gonna ball in these, man. I'm really excited, dang. And one thing I noticed when I put these on is the insole has some special stats on it or oh it's a story actually right here it says california high school all-american then he went to arizona first team all-american pac-10 player of the year then he went to okc third pick sixth man of the year then houston mvp man what a crazy career big ups to james harden for winning that mvp award well deserved man big ups to you now as far as these go visually i don't know about you guys but i think this is a pretty dang good looking sneaker the only thing I would change is the branding here. It just feels a little bit generic. I would have liked to seen it on the heel maybe, or maybe no branding at all. That's kind of the new wave these days. Less branding is kind of what is really popular right now. I would have liked to seen that, but so far, what I'm seeing from the Harden BEX is visually, they're pretty good looking, especially in this MVP colorway. I'm really excited to have these in my collection, and I can't wait to play ball in them. Tonight, there will be a performance review on these, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section below. And be sure to check out my new basketball podcast, the All NBA Podcast, which is a live show where we talk to you guys, the fans, about things going on in the NBA. You can check that out with the link on the left. And then click my logo on the right to subscribe to this channel. That helps me out a lot. So click left, click right. Catch you in the next one. Peace.